honey buns it's demi welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're just joining us now welcome so for today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be decluttering my makeup what's it called it's not even called a makeup desk what is this called me dressing table that's the word i was looking for now basically i clean it every so often as you can see it doesn't look the messiest of dressing tables however what i don't do is go into the actual drawers declutter it sort it out give it a give it a clean you know i'm not going to be cleaning or sorting my makeup brushes that can be a separate video but i asked over on my instagram if you wanted to see these decluttering type of videos and the majority of you said yes so that's what i'm going to be doing um i can turn it into a little series decluttering my dressing table is the first one that i'm doing but if you want to see us cleaning my makeup brushes if you want to see us decluttering under my bed decluttering my wardrobe then definitely be possible videos so let me know but without further rat -a -tat -tat, we are just going to get into decluttering my makeup drawers if you enjoy this video and this type of content please give this video a thumbs up let's try and smash 3,000 thumbs up and let me know the last time you decluttered your makeup drawer or your makeup bag let me know <laughs> okay so first things first these are the two drawers that i need to sort on this side now they're an absolute mess <sighs> they've got no theme they've got no structure they just they did when i first done my makeup drawers they did have a theme and a structure i promise you i'm not lying but for some reason the theme and the structure has disappeared it's gone the first things first i'm just going to take everything out the drawer then i'm going to decide what i want to keep and what i want to burn and then the things that i'm keeping will be put back into the drawer structurally we need a structure and the things that i'm not keeping will be gifted to somebody or could be in the giveaway for you guys a whole bunch of solid tilbury things which i haven't actually tried yet i definitely want to keep them i mean come on demi why have i got cold and flu tablets in here i mean this isn't my medication drawer this is meant to be a makeup drawer so drawers out i actually got these from home bargains if anybody is interested they're just little storage holders so i'm gonna pull these out of the drawer Look at that, I've got bloody eyelashes just sticking at the bottom of the drawer. It's just a bit filthy. Three primers, but I'm not actually sure because so I have my Pixie by Pepper primer, which I'm keeping, my ordinary primer, which I'm keeping, I have my PS Brunch Club highlight, which I'm keeping, and then I also have this Pixie by Petra um eye and lip duo, which I do want to keep. I then have this, this is the Ardell Attitude Shade Drops. I'm not the biggest fan of these, so I am actually going to put them in the Don't Want pile. And then I have this, which is the Ultra Strobe Cream by Revolution. I do actually really like this product, so I'm going to keep it. I then have a pen. Hi, pen. Why are you here? The Pixie by Petra Rose Gold. I think this is like a cream eyeshadow, so I don't understand why it's in this drawer, because this isn't my eyeshadow drawer. But anyway, I do want to keep that. Then I have this. This is the Revolution Bacon Finish. I'm not the biggest fan of this, so I am actually going to get rid of that. I then have this. This is a Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Trendsetter. Again, I don't often use lip liners, because I've got little lips, like... And, I, and when I try to overdo them, overline them, I've done it like once or twice before and it's gone horribly wrong. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. We will do this little drawer here. So I have actually my new Charlotte Tilbury items, which I want to keep because I haven't tried yet. These are my two favourite brow products at the minute. It's the Benefit Cabrow and the Benefit Gimme Brow. So I'm going to be keeping them. I got gifted this. This is the Kat Von D Big or Go Home Volumizing Mascara, which I am going to actually keep. I don't know what the hell this is oh i actually use this for that little brush because i always can never find them when i need them so i'm gonna keep this so i need to get my little boxes back in so one of the drawers is going to be for eyelashes and stuff so i'm going to pop the eyelashes that i want to keep here this drawer is going to be eyes and um, so then i need to pop my mascaras in as well then as so eyes and eyebrows i'll pop that little eyebrow pop these eyebrow products in i think this is an eyeliner this is an eyeliner which i haven't tried yet so i'm going to pop that in there as well and then a sharpener and then my eyelash glue okay so that's eyebrows this one is going to be primers so i need to pop my primers in i think i've got primers in the below drawer as well which i will sort that is for my eyeshadow drawer, for my eyeshadow drawer, and I don't think that's going in there. 
Okay, so I've got another one of the Arda liquid highlighters here. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of like liquid highlighters, so yeah, I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Um, okay, so I need to get the primers out of here. So this is my Nina Ritchie primer. I really like this, so I'm keeping this. And my Emma Hardy primer, my professional primer. That's more or less gone, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to pop my primers into the prime drawer. Um, what else do I have in here? This is a primer as well. This is the W7 Princess Portion Primer. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, so I am going to gift this one away. So they need to go in the primer drawer as well. I don't know which is going to be a better way to put them. I think I might put them this way to mix things up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to put them that way. Okay, so... Moving on, I need to empty this drawer. So in here, I've got a mixture of things. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm going to keep it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. This is just like a compact a highlight. This highlight, which I don't actually like the colour of on my face, I'm going to give that away. Okay, so I actually managed to completely empty this drawer and declutter it. And I've moved one of the baskets um, in this drawer. So I have three baskets in this drawer now and... I'm actually going to just use this drawer for makeup, the one underneath, I'm going to spread my finance stuff into it. So basically I've got eye stuff here, so mascara, um, lashes, everything to do with eyes or eyebrows here. I have a full tub of primers, I have two powders which I'm keeping which is the Rimmel Stay Matte and then this Chanel powder. These are just sitting down the side of my drawer. Then I have three blushes, the Pixie by Petra blush, the Milani blush, and the Charlotte Tilbury brush. And then in this last tub here, I've put in highlights and bronzers. Um, so yeah, so I do have this. This is the Huda Beauty highlight palette. And um, I do use this shade occasionally, but I don't actually use these shades. For some reason, I've tried them as you can see, but they don't sit well on my skin. So yeah, I'm actually going to gift this away. Um, some of the makeup that I'm gifting away, well, most of the makeup that I'm gifting away will have been used slightly. So if that is something that you wouldn't want, then obviously do not enter into the giveaway. But if you don't mind slightly used makeup, you can always get an antibacterial spray to clean it and stuff like that. Then yeah, it's just an opportunity for somebody else to get makeup. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette I really loved and it has been a go-to for a while, but... I just don't reach for it anymore um, and I really do need to declutter the palettes so I'm going to be getting rid of this. My Petra eyeshadow palette is one of my faves so I'm not getting rid of that and I'm not getting rid of this either. This is the Zulu by Juvia's palette. I can't get myself to get rid of that and this is like my go-to palette <gasps> so this isn't going anywhere. This is a um, Barry M cheek contour palette. I've tried to use this colour before but I'm not a one for cream contours like this so I'm actually going to be getting rid of this. These two palettes are really good and I actually do love Profusion as a brand but again I just don't reach for them enough so I'm afraid they are going to have to go. The Focal A12 Burning Colours palette, as much as I love this palette again I just never reach for it so it's going to have to go. Okay so as you can see this drawer is really being decluttered. I've managed to limit myself to four foundations and three concealers which is actually really good and then at the back yeah I do still have a pile of eyeshadow palettes but they're all ones that I really really like so I'm going to keep these. I have a little spare box here so I'm actually going to put some um lip products in that I keep because I do have an overflow of lip products. Okay so this drawer I use is my fake tan drawer along with like bits and bobs um so I have three fake tan mitts which I'm keeping because I always bloody need them and I'm, I have quite a few tans so I'm, I think I might get rid of a few so this is the sun kissed self mousse tan I actually really like that one so I'm going to take out the ones that I want to keep I like that one as well this is a tan remover which I quite like. I never really use this one because it's a lotion so I think I might get rid of this one. Okay so I've removed them. I don't actually want to get rid of many of my tans because I like them so I'm just going to keep them. I think I've got rid of like one tan. Oh, oh my god look at this. This is like a skincare drawer. But it's just got everything in it. Okay, so I've really decluttered down the skincare drawer. As you can see, we've got some masks, some pads underneath. Masks here. Um, hand gel, another mask. Some oils or low, um, what are they called? Oils or serums. Moisturisers, some sprays, some toners. And yeah, so I've really got rid of quite a bit of the skincare drawer. 
Okay, moving on from skincare, I need to sort the top of my dresser out. So I'll need to rearrange it for this again. So I've got this model's own lipstick. It's like a pinky red colour. Um, I probably wouldn't use this. I'm probably going to get rid of this. I don't like that colour, so I'm going to get rid of it. I do actually really like the Gerard Cosmetics product. Um, I'm going to keep this one because I do like it and I really like it. It's like a really like everyday colour. So I'm going to keep this. Um, what colour is this? This is a matte lipstick. Oh, it's like a brown. See, I won't use that. I used to wear them all the time. This is like a moisturiser for my lips. I'm going to keep that. I like these. See, I'm definitely more lip gloss person now. Again, that's just too brown. What's this? Red. Mm. The don't want pile is actually quite big. Look at all that I've sorted out. It's big. It's really big. And anyway, this is the massive, massive bag of stuff that I have here. It's absolutely full to the brim. So I worked out there's 85 stuff in the bag and I'm going to do a giveaway um, but instead of doing a massive giveaway and one person wins the whole stuff what I want to do is do a giveaway where multiple people have the chance to win because I just think it's nicer that way multiple people have the chance to try a new item I do want to let you know that this giveaway the items are going to be used slightly used obviously I'm not going to send you a half empty bottle of something but they will have been used maybe once or twice um, or tested so be aware of that and if that's something you're not comfortable with then please don't enter into this giveaway five items but i am giving a few away to family and friends so the 70 items that i'm going to be giving away to you guys which is going to be seven winners because it's going to be seven piles of 10 items if that makes sense um the items will be shared out fairly between high-end and drugstore and i'll try and variety the piles up as much as possible between skincare and makeup and different varieties of skincare but I can't guarantee that you'll get a particular item if you win. It's just going to be a bit of like a mystery type of thing. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of the piles of makeup, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Post a comment below why you would like to win. And for a extra entry, follow me on Instagram, which will be linked below. But you don't have to do that to win because I know quite a lot of people who follow us on YouTube don't necessarily have Instagram. And I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity to win some of the items if it's something you're interested in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to leave the giveaway running for two weeks. They will be announced on Instagram, but I will also come and announce them on YouTube as well for another video so that's what we're going to be doing honey bun so if you would like to win you know the rules but the rules will be clarified in the description below but yeah this was me decluttering deorganizing and cleaning my makeup drawer if you would like us to continue to make this a series on my channel where i can do different parts of my room then definitely let me know but without further rat -a -tat -tat, i'm gonna let you go and i will see you very shortly for another video bye